It's not your app, it's our app. And we set the rules. Please don't resize our windows. An open letter from independent UI developers to the wider graphical community. This is by no means new, but it's funny enough that I just had to cover it. So if you've never seen it before, enjoy the show. UI design is more often than not made harder by the burden of having to resize windows. Responsiveness is a huge issue used in part on developers. I spit on your responsiveness. Thus, this letter calls to keep your window in conventional aspect ratios, ideally a constant one we can set. One window size for every single user. Remember, when you reach for the edge of a window to drag it out, you aren't resizing your window, you're resizing our window. Because the developer's opinion is the only one that matters. You have no say in this. You as the distro, you as the user, you must listen to what we want. Narrow windows can hide apps features and cut off information, causing people to have to scroll... Or worse. Or worse what, you might ask? Exactly. You can't expect developers to set minimum sizes for their user interfaces, that's insane! Differing aspect ratios often require custom layouts to handle them cleanly. Why would you want to make developers focus on something like resizable interfaces when they can work on more substantial features like theming support? Padding and a lack of information density are essential features to the modern UI. People can be persuaded to make UIs more compact for support for older display hardware. You don't get to just bring the information together. As we know, if you want an interface to look modern, it has to be as sparse and have as little information density as possible. Make the application as inconvenient to use as you can physically make it, because that is what modern means. And that is the choice that we have made as the developers. And you, you don't get to change our mind. You don't get to change our design. You must live with it. Personalization is personal. It is a personal attack on the developers. People who prefer the apps at different sizes will have different experiences navigating the UI. And we can't have that. We can't have users experiencing things in different ways. Everyone must have the exact same experience because if there's different experiences, how could we possibly test more than one thing? That's impossible. There's just... There's just no way to do that. The wider attack surface can create unforeseen problems, and it can also confuse users and dirty, otherwise pristine interfaces. We made it. We know it's perfect. You do not get to bring in your dirty little resize. We make the rules here, not you. If your UI library gives the capability to people to make their apps truly theirs, it will interfere with our plans for the apps. Differences in distance and size may confuse people looking at screenshots of UIs. The human mind works like XDO tool, and instructions like 720 pixel, 140 pixel are more readable than next to the save button. If I cannot write a script that is hard coded and finds the button exactly where it's supposed to be located, clearly the app is broken, clearly the UI is broken, that's how that's how we think about problems. Every problem is thought about in pixel space. As you know, the human eye can't see more than 60 FPS, and the human eye can't see more than 1080p. And this is why we ask respectfully that our windows not be resized. They are built and tested for 16x9 1080p, and occasionally phone aspect ratios. Very occasionally, not enough to ensure they actually work correctly and... Applications don't render in weird ways where UI elements appear off the screen and cannot actually be accessed, but occasionally they are tested. Different sizes and layouts will make the application look different. Different sizes and layouts will make it look different? Holy. What a crazy revelation that is. Though we are working towards the initiative of restricting resizing functionality in GUI libraries, this issue cannot be dealt with in its entirety right now. Sadly, those pesky users, those, mm, I hate those users so much. They keep demanding that this resize feature sticks around. 
I just don't get it. The challenge we face is that users launch our apps with the expectation that they'll be able to drag it out or split it with another window. And a broader idea of aspect ratio flexibility, this has never been completely true. If you like personalizing your window sizes, we have nothing against that. However, if your UI goes haywire, deviating from the supported aspect ratio or size, it should be fixed on your own accord. We just don't want to deal with resize related bugs. You resized it, we don't support resizing. It's your own fault. Graphical displays and corresponding software for them should stay at one fixed size instead of varying sizes. Solving this issue is very complicated and would damage many forms of accessibility, but devices varying screen size widely is also bad. Just stop needing accessibility guarantees, right? Like, just embrace the one size fits all window and everything is gonna be better. If you're shipping hardware with an unconventional window size, first consider that you are not shipping your default software on that hardware, you are shipping our default software on that hardware. Microsoft and Apple usually do not allow their software to be warped in such ways. Why would they allow window resizing? There's definitely no way they would allow that. That's, that's crazy. And your actions are damaging to not just your users, but to us because People are going to see the window, and it's not going to look like the way it normally does when you first open it. That can't be allowed. No, 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 we can't allow that. We understand the desire for personalization, especially on platforms people use to have more flexibility, such as Linux. Lowercase l, because... I don't know, what is lowercase l Linux? Never heard of it. However, when you drag your window out, you take away power from us. It forces us to consider more edge cases and write more code. When things go wrong, it forces us to make more bug fixes. Just because we use UI libraries with the ability to resize does not mean we are okay with you resizing our windows. If you believe in the mission, how can you help? What can you do to make this world a reality? The world where resizing goes away and everyone uses the one true window. Well, what you can do is obfuscate interfaces for resizing windows. Make it so it's more confusing to do. Hide the action. Make it so you try to resize and it gives you a warning or you try to resize and something goes wrong. If the user doesn't know how to resize, well, eventually they're going to give up on trying to resize. Also, publish new libraries to create large differences in consistency and flexibility in hopes people not completely on board upgrade to a large reduction in functionality so that consistency is restored. Put out a UI library that is modern and nice looking, but doesn't have the ability to resize. So users move over to that platform. Developers move over to that platform and they get tricked into believing that they're getting something nice but they're actually losing out on something they wanted. And the most important thing of all, sign our article and become a fighter for UI flexibility. Remember, it's not anti-user, it's pro-developer. Now, in case it wasn't clear, this entire post, this entire article is a parody. What is it a parody of? Well, I've shown it before in a number of videos from the GNOME community. Please don't theme our apps. An open letter from independent app developers to the wider GNOME community, where a bunch of GNOME developers came together and basically said, we don't like that distros are theming our applications. They shouldn't be doing that. If users want to do it, that's fine. But at the distro level, that shouldn't be happening. And the distros basically said, we don't care. You use a toolkit that allows theming. So, um, it is what it is. Or you have even more recent cases like Linux Mint forking off the Libidweta project to explicitly add theming support into it. So the piece that I showed you today, this basically makes fun of a lot of the arguments being made in please don't theme our apps. Now, obviously, as it says in the piece here, don't go and harass the GNOME developers. If you want to say stupid things in my comment section, that's fine. I know you're going to do so anyway, but don't be weird to the GNOME people. Let them do their thing. Let them be their part of the Linux community. This is just supposed to be fun. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please do let me know.
I would love to know. I always like doing these just random sort of fun, dumb videos that don't, they're just like nothing meaningful happening here, right? You could say it's a waste of time and yeah, it kind of is. But at the same time, not everything needs to be important. Not everything needs to be valuable. Sometimes it's fun to just see something that's a little dumb. See some dumb Australian guy just saying some random shit and, uh, see where it goes. So, if you like the video, go like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon Scribe Starly Bearer Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I'm not going to address what's written on the whiteboard. Just... <laughs> Sometimes, man, sometimes.